What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. Hello, how are we doing today? Um, guys, as per usual, you know what to do drop 10k in the comments, like the vid, sub if you are new for a chance of winning 10k, guys. All you gotta do, like the vid, sub if you're new, and comment whatever you want for a chance of winning 10k stubs. That simple, get it to 100 likes for a chance of winning 10k, guys. Listen. We're running a stream at 8 o'clock Eastern tonight on Twitch. Your boy Bug16 is my Twitch. Go drop the follow on my Twitter, my IG for like, I guess I'll start probably announcing my giveaways on there. Um, because I cannot stand putting it on YouTube because who looks at the comments? Some people don't even look at the comments on YouTube. So go drop the follow on my Twitter, my Instagram. I always post my videos uh, beforehand on there. Like I'll talk about when my videos dropping and stuff. So yeah, go do that. Guys. This is, I believe, episode 7 of Aftermath and the Market Crash. It's just where we go over what we did with our players, how many stubs we made. And guys, in this one, we made over 75,000 stubs off 9 cards, and we're going to get into it. So, ready? This is how it starts. So, your boy Bugs last week was, uh, this week actually, during the Market Crash, picked up a ton of players, including Ricky Henderson, Chris Sale, Justin Verlander, Rizzo and all those good players and we got them for cheap and if you listen to me you made stubs like me So let's get into it. Listen, I'm sorry. My hair is out of whack. We just woke up. I'm sorry Brush my teeth and stuff and then uh, I'm sorry. I just woke up. Okay, so let's get into it Guys, so Roberto Alamare Listen, we sold him for 103. I wanted to wait, but I got impatient. We sold him for 103 and I got him for 83, okay? 103. We got 10K stubs off Alomar clean, all right? That's 10K stubs clean. We sold Ricky Anderson for 102. We got him for 84. We got him for 84. We're made 8K stubs. That's 18K clean. Off this Verlander. I still have him. 108K. We got him for 82K, okay? 108K. Uh, we sell him for 18. It's pretty much 109. Let's just say 108 minus 10K. Uh, 98k, we got him for 82. That's about, let's just say, 15k stubs made. Let's just say it's 15k stubs. It's 16k stubs. Let's just say he made 30k. Now that's 28k right there. Um, so that's 28k made right there. Let's just say it's 30k. Let's get on to some more cards. So, I'm also going to talk about the auction a little bit in this as well. So, it's not just add them in the market. Right? It's also a little bit of auction talk. So, right now, Lou Brock did go down a little bit. I think he's going to go up soon. Um, oh, okay, we're gonna talk about Chris Sale. Okay, okay, if you guys listen to Bugs, you guys made probably 20k stubs off sale last week, this week, whatever. Chris Sale was sitting at 49, 49,000 stubs during the headliner, um, headliner crash, like usual. So the stub sale was out, headliners dropped, a lot of stuff went down, including the sale. Chris Sale dropped a ton, and he was at like 49k. I was able to pack him. But I got it. I packed him when he was 49k, and I was like, "Yo, bugs, that's not a good price for sale. He's pitching gems. Wait for him. Wait for it, man. Sale. He's at 66k. And guess what? I just did. I just sold him for 66k. Your boy just made 49k, 11k stubs profit off sale. We're at 29k stubs made plus 11k. We're at 40k stubs made. Four cards. 10k average off four freaking cards. Okay." Think about that. We got two Chris Brown 20Ks at 23. That's pretty decent. We're not going to make stubs off that yet. Hopefully, he does good this week. Uh, Jimmy Fox, another card I got for super cheap. 39K I got the Jimmy Fox for about the release. I got him for a sell now price. Sold him for 51,000 stubs, man. That's, let's just say, 10K clean. 10K clean plus 40K stubs. 50K stubs made off the Jimmy Fox. I mean, 10K stubs made off the Jimmy Fox. 50K overall. 50k stubs made all right think about that for one second you listen to bugs you make the stubs you make the guap hope you guys enjoyed this so far we got a lot more players to talk about and guys told you to pick up arnado for 70k he's at 97 if you didn't listen to me i mean i didn't get him i was trying to save some stubs but guys one person that kind of i kind of want to pick up this card this card is looking dirty uh I'm, I'm gonna give him a try probably tonight on stream so yeah big l i took I took a fat L on this Christian Yelich, bro. I sold him for 60K last week before the stub sale dropped. He's at 82,000. If you guys have him, you're freaking valid, man. I took a fat L on this card. And let me tell you something. This Yelich card is filthy, too. 
So you could use this card and you can make stubs off him. Right now, I would sell him. I feel like he won't go up for a while. With the stub sale leaving, what is today, the 17th? This is the last day of the stub sale. This is your last chance to get stubs. If you didn't buy stubs yet, I would go ahead and buy them if you really want to buy stubs. I didn't buy them. I hate the stub sale. Totally against it. Um, so yeah, Christian Yelich, 82,000 stubs. Sell now. Um, another card I made a ton of stubs off. What do we have? 50k made already? Yo, we made a crap ton of stubs off this Tim Anderson player of the month card. Okay, so what I did was I picked him up before the stub sale dropped, knowing that I actually okay, so it was Thursday, I think last week or Thursday two weeks ago, whatever. Um, someone was like, yo, they're dropping a stub sale, everything's gonna go up crazy. I'm like, oh my god, really? Hopped on. I was like, yo, I need a new team. I had 400 k stubs. I'm like, yo, I'm buying Tim Anderson, I'm buying all these studs. I bought Tim Anderson for 51,000 stubs. Yo, sell now 51,000 stubs. I sold them for 67K. 6K minus 67K. 61K, bought them for 51K. 10K stubs made 60K stubs profit. Six cards. Six freaking cards. We made that many stubs of six cards. Crazy stuff. We got them for 51,000. More cards we made a ton of stubs off. Uh, I waited on this card, but it doesn't seem like he's going up too much more. We sold like four Rizzos, okay? We sold Rizzos for 7, 8K. Um, he's at 6K now. If you have him, just wait a little bit. Maybe he'll start heating up. Maybe he'll start doing really freaking good again. And he'll go up in value. So right now, his price is low. To be honest, I will go ahead and invest at 5K stubs. Invest at 5K stubs. He's pretty much, he's quick sell value right now. You have to realize that if he goes to an 86, 87, this guy ain't gonna be quick sell value. He's gonna be 10 minimum K. That's 5k, 4k stubs out the reduction made. I made I got all these cards for 2, 3k. Sold them for 7. Uh, let's just say we made 4 of each. I sold 4 of them for 16k. We have 60k stubs made, 16k plus 60k. 76k stubs made. We did that off what? Uh, 11, 12, 6, 6 plus 4. We need to have 10 cards. 76k, 10 cards. That is insane. That's 7.6k stubs profit off each card. If you guys listen to me, you should make this much, many subs as well. Also, I want to talk about Okuna. Now, listen to this. I made a ton of stubs off Okuna, too, but I want to wait on Okuna. He's at 8K now. How many do I have? I have 13 Okunas. I got all of them for 4,000 stubs sell now. It was last week or two weeks ago. I think two weeks ago when I said, guys, listen, listen to my words. Um, I have Okuna Fantasy. He's starting to heat up. Everybody go pick him up. This week, he's literally injected steroids. He's doing insane. He has, like, over 120 fan points this week. Um, I think he has like five homers in the last two weeks or something crazy last night He went off he had three singles a stolen base and a dinger. Um, this guy's on fire If you guys have him, I would say hold on to him. Um If you guys don't remember from last year August when Okuna started heating up Okuna uh, What did Okuna do had 15 home runs in a month or something bro when this guy heats up? It's serious like he's serious when he heats up his average goes up like 4.40 and he just doesn't stop apps. He just tears the ball. When, when you see Okuna like this, it's dangerous. At this rate, he'll be an 87 next update. Um, if he can keep it up this week, which I really think he will, it's Okuna. He's got a bat. Hopefully he does it. I made stubs off him. I'm waiting though. I can make, he's 8K now. I can make about 3K stubs profit of all 13 of these. That is 30K stubs. We're literally, we can make over 100K, but we're going to keep it at about 75K right now. 70k stubs made because I don't want to sell him. I refuse to sell the man himself. Um, let's see. What else do we do? Um, last chance. Uh, I'm going to talk about it tomorrow. Uh, investment video tomorrow. Top 10 investments tomorrow. Listen. If you guys don't have no Xanders. If you guys do not have no Trey Turners. If you guys don't have stories. Go pick them up. They're trade. All right. Story for 3800 This is the last time you're going to see him that cheap. Um, go ahead and pick them up. We made up over 75k stubs off this one off of this um very easy stubs made if you guys don't believe me i don't care uh i have it all in my completed auctions let's show you it's all here yo trey turner for 1900 stubs bro devers i took a fat l on devers man i don't want to talk about that okay i took the fattest l on devers i'm only gonna lose like 3k but he went down a lot and i'm keeping him till he goes up more but guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're watching this, go pick up Trey Turner. Let's check his price. He's still tearing it apart. He has not slowed down at all over the last week. And he's at 2,600 stubs. If you're not going to see him at 2,600 stubs for long, I hope you guys enjoyed. I 
just thank you for just thank you for supporting me, man. Twitch stream is at eight o'clock Eastern. Pull up. Peace out, your boy Buck16 on Twitch. Peace. Hey, yo,